Hey everyone, welcome back to more Yuppie Cycle. I've been busy with life, so I've been playing a lot, but last time we played, we're going to go into the HR office, and uh, I got brutally murdered in there. <laughs> so, alright, so I'm supposed to get up to the air vent, I think. Okay. Isn't that what we do though? Okay, yeah, we climb up from here. And then... Alright. So then I think I have to use the screwdriver to unlock the grid. Oh, the air vent. Alright, so this part is the part which is tricky. There's an item over here. Oh yeah. One packet of coffee powder. There's a clipping from a society magazine. It was a recent funeral of an heiress of Central Fortune part of a cover-up. Unofficial sources seem to be believed so, as they've been unable to access the autopsy report so far. Alright. Oh, I forgot to close my window startup manual. There's a saving here, but we won't be using it since I use the one outside. Alright, here you are. Hey you, wait! And I think we talked to all those people. Yeah, no none of them most of them don't respond very much. Okay, come closer, come closer. Alright, so what we have to do, um I'm gonna save this one. I'm trying to uh, push over there so we can use the cabinet to block the more, the scarier. Um, like this one is not too fast, the way it spits. I'm just gonna get all the water from here. Okay. I'm gonna use the cabinet to block off the second one. over here on the table, which I don't think I, we can interact with any of them. I'm gonna block the last one. This one spit the fastest. I'll block this one with a file cabinet. I, I can talk to this lady. Hello? No? Alright. Uh, he got one ink cartridge. Alright. So this lady died from the spit. <laughs> and here's our the girl we're trying to look for. Let's walk on him, girls. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I have no idea how to deal with her. Because last time what happened is I went to the... Oh, man. I went to the room in there and... Um, ah. Leave me alone, please. And she blocked off both of my exits, so I got stuck in there. Slice of cheese in there. There's not much else. I'm gonna go this way. So then I think I ran into a guy here who's asking for. I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, maybe. Hi, is something bothering you? Do you know anything about the resume? Not much, really. Well, you can't help me then. Come back when you know something. Alright. Oh, hey, you. Whoa, 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 what is that? That's a witch. Welcome, Hunter. Come closer. I was waiting for you. Do you
do you want me to kiss you? <laughs> What's the matter? Have you ever been kissed? I'll make a man out of you. Is that what you came for? Jesus Christ. Uh, I think it's not right. It's giving me a very bad feeling. I shouldn't go near it. I gotta find a marketing girl and get out of here. Alright, so... I see. You don't even want to talk to me. Are you shy or are you afraid of me? Is it that the company hired coward as hunters now? No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Uh, Are you the witch? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm just a friend who wants to help you. What kind of help? I have a clue. A clue about her. You don't believe me? Come, look, look. Alright, so we died last time like an idiot walking up to the mouth. It's a very important clue about the witch's identity. Come close if you want to take it. I can't quite see what it is from here, but it looks like a photograph. She the witch paper. Hi. No, the delicious mouth doesn't want to taste me. That thing on the wall, you really want her to eat you? What a question. Isn't that what we all want? The pleasure of being desired. Getting recognition from a company. Promotion. But the mouth doesn't love us all equally. Some of them are savored for a while. Then she spit them out. She didn't even spit on me. But I can't give up. They say there's a way to trick her. There's an object, a magical, magical symbol that she can't resist. That's the important clue. A symbol? Some say it's a figure of voodoo magic. If you wear it, she'll notice you, she'll want you, she'll pull you in. But if you don't have it, she can't see you, she doesn't love you. And that makes me very sad because she doesn't love me. Hmm. Um, a magic symbol. Wait, really? No, 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 oh, okay. I don't want to give it to this lady. She's gonna get eaten. Could this be the symbol of the male that's attracted to you? Should her a piece of paper? That's a dirty piece of paper. I don't want your crack. If it doesn't work, try someone else. Someone other than me. Huh? Uh, oh. Are we gonna get that guy eaten? Wait, what else? What else is in there? Got my food and I got... I don't think... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, you. Wait, before we do that, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna grab, like, whatever I can from here. You! Lady! I have some, find some slogan to get her to follow me. Mm, see, she came out of the way from Human Resources. Maybe, maybe she wants a promotion. Alright. Uh, batteries. Candy bar. Interesting resume. Extra responsibility, same salary. Extra responsibility, same salary. That sounds a little, little bit desperate. It's not really all that convincing, but I'll remember it. I vaguely remember I told her that last summer she didn't like it. Credits. Um, don't see anything useful here. And I can't really. I can push this. But like, I can't push it further that way. I don't know. Uh, let's go deal with the mouth. So, you. <laughs> I got it. It's perfect. What? What else is it gonna be? The slogan for my resume. Do resume have slogan? Sure, how could you get here without one? With the number of resumes they have to read every day in human resources, the most important thing is the first sentence, the initial slogan. I have a perfect one, take a look at it. Lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. It's perfect, don't you think? I, uh, maybe I wouldn't have, I mean, it's a bit direct, right? He didn't even know resume. Should have slogan bucket. Right, uh, I don't want to do this, but let's see what happens. Look, I think this will make the mouth attractive to you. I don't believe in that stuff. Put it on that goat, see if it works. Goat. Yeah, no, I don't want that papers. Um, 
voodoo object. It's not a paper, then. Doesn't seem particularly useful. Now, can I? Which paper? No, that can't be it. Uh, wait, are we are we sacrificing this girl? Hey, you lady. No more marketing. Lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. I can't believe I'm saying that. Uh, lick me and let me explode inside your mouth. Oh shit, of course. <laughs> what a dumb idea. <sighs> okay, my health is okay. Alright, lady. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Extra responsibility seems sad. She didn't like this one. But let's oh my god, okay. Mm. I don't know, let's drink some coffee. And uh, let's leave her for now. Let's see if we can get out from, from over here. Ah, okay. No, see, she's blocking my path. you. Alright. Are you nervous because of your resume slogan? Yeah, how you know that? I'm not really sure about my slogan. Look, look. No more slogan. Just be yourself. Okay, dude. No. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Do you think the mouth will like it? it? Sounds simple, straightforward, and different. I'm convinced. I'm sure the mouth will like it. Yeah, but what if she doesn't like it? I can't risk looking like an idiot in front of my coworker. Um. Okay, well... I think you're gonna like the one where it says exploding your mouth or something. But you're gonna take that? Hello? Um. Okay. So maybe we use that on the marketing girl. Since you hate HR, right? Okay, she like that. All right, come with me. Okay, okay, lady, lady, lady. All right. Um, do I give you the paper doll? I'll put this on your belt. Forgive me for doing this to you. I hope you're not a taste, not to taste of that war thing. You're not up. Okay. Um, before we go that way, can I just make sure that this way is blocked up? The picture is the best clue I've ever come across. I can't leave without it. Okay. All right, lady. Girl, um, I don't want to get any closer. Can you? Can you? Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm scared. The mouth is not interacting with her. Oh, 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 there he goes. There he goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, spit it out. You think you're smart, don't you? You got a photo. Ooh, the picture must be important. Okay, so there is a mom, there's a dad, there's a little girl, and then there's that figure that's burnt. So little girl, I bet, is the heiress, and then that thing beside her must be the witch. She looks like a fox spirit. Who could these people be? The best thing is to take it to Sintra, but before that I have to get the marketing girl back. Alright, lady. Go away if you want, Hunter. Go back to that stupid girl and take her 
take her your trophy. I assure you, we'll meet again very soon. <laughs> I'll end up giving you the kiss when you least expect it. <laughs> oh no. Girls, please escort him out. Ah! Okay. Jesus Christ. Lady. Okay, she's gone. They're all gone. Good. Oh, this house is empty. That means I should be able to run. Oh, there's a... There's a vent. Oh, that's where we came from. He finally got out. I hope this thing can get out of here. Alright. Well, here's the last one. Ah, thank you very much, Brian. Please, workmate. Would you mind getting back to the other? To back to the others. Alright. What a stressful segment. <laughs> oh, Brian. I owe you big time. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to handle everything. No problem, don't worry about it. You tell me the trick of hiding properly. <laughs> silly, but that was nothing. You help me with my task. It's only fair that I help you with yours. What were you doing on the floor? You told me something about the horse, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, it was nonsense. Motivational talk, homework, nothing important. Tell me, please, I want to help you. Well, I, I was asked to come to this floor to make, make a friend. And, well, I thought, maybe. Why are you so nervous? Oh shit! What? No, HR ladies, come on! Fix that hunter! Don't let him leave here without the fo with the photograph! Oh, we must hit a jackpot! Oh no! Quick, let's hide! Okay. They tell me they always leave their office at the end of the month, but that's too early, I don't understand. Man, HR ladies are scary. Looks like they're gone. Well, I think I better get back to the office. I have to give something important to work me. Okay, I still have a lot of work to do around here, but later I'll buy you a cup of coffee or anything you help me with. Alright, I'll see you later. Oh no. To get past them. Ah! Lady. Do they know? No, she doesn't. Okay. Yo, that's not the right way. Oh, here it is. I see where I have to go. Oh, shit. Can you please? Can you please? Oh. Okay, so it's... Hey, their pattern is really random. I don't think they... Can she hear me? Okay, that lady down, down there is gone. This lady went down. Ah! Okay, run, 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 run. Must be another way of getting down there. Floor 7. Let's go talk to Sintra. See what she says. Hello, Mrs. Sintra. Oh no, that's the library. That's the wrong floor. Which floor am I on? Floor 5? Okay. Here it is. Um, 
my office. I haven't been here for so long. You people, Souza. Oh, she doesn't want to talk. And you, Mr. Suspicious. The hive. I want the hive to do what Dumont said. That's the spirit part of this parsnip. Did you manage to make a friend? Yeah, well, uh, no, not at all. And you didn't go through a chart, did you? Yeah, yeah, I did go through there. Oh, yeah? Why were you so interested in that? You told me you weren't happy with your job. Human resources is the best place to be to ch be changed or promoted. From the look of your face, I guess they didn't listen to you, huh? Did you tell them you were on my site? No, I didn't tell them. Well, oh, thank goodness. I always prank call them with dirty joke and now they want to kill me. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, can I make some coffee? Don't remember if I have coffee. Apparently I do. Don't have the ingredients to make coffee. Is any water left in there? No. Alright, uh, Miss Sintra. Sintra disappeared again. Where sh could she be? On the left this time? Oh yeah, I knew it. Oh, I have a flashlight and it works in there. That's cool. Oh, what? Weird place. Sentry. Hi, Brian. What is all this? I don't know if there was anything like this on Sentranet. It's a digital library. The company has a collection of more than 10 million books and articles. I like to spend my free time scanning and debugging the material. I was just not analyzing detail that Hexenhammer you brought me earlier. It's a fascinating book. Did you know that the close the deal with the devil, which is have to drink his blood? Yuck. Speaking of which, I think I found a clue. You showed a photograph to Sintra. You you found this? Where do you get it? I went to human resources on the fourth floor and there was a giant mountain wall. She said she was my friend and wanted to help me hunt down the witch. What? What? You tell her you were a hunter? No, I didn't tell her anything, but she already knew. I don't know how to put it into words, but I feel like I was talking to the witch. Everything about her gave me chills. Analyzing photography. Do you know who they are? Yes, it's the Sintra family. Sintra Corps was created in 1951 by Zhao Sintra. In the photo beside the pa patriarch, his wife, Xiu Ying, and his daughter, Ray Sintra appear. You have a certain resemblance to her, don't you? That's correct. According to company record, Ray Sintra died at age of 11. The family was so saddened that when I was made, they want to honor her memory by making me in her image and likeness. You do look like her. Somewhat, a little bit. I except you look like an Ultraman, <laughs> the Japanese, old Japanese superhero show. So, who's the person with a burnt face? Because of her hiding dress, she could be another girl of the similar age, but I'm not sure the family didn't have any more descendant. descendant. It's possible she's a friend of Ray's, but it's impossible to identify her from this image. Do you think talking to someone in the family might help? It's a great idea, but I'm afraid there's no one left alive. The last relative of the Sintra family died in 1983. Well, uh, I guess I can relax a little and go look for other clues in the canteen. There's one thing I don't understand. Why did the witch give you this picture? Well, she didn't really give it to me. She used it as a trap to get me to approach her so she could attack me. I managed to trick her and get the picture. We don't know if this might be another trap, but at the same time, it's the best lead we have. Hugo is definitely the witch, isn't he? Brian, you need to get information on the Sintra family. We need to find out who the other girl is. But how? You just said they all died. The remains of Sintra family are stored on the 8th floor. Head over there and try to find out what you can. Oof, well, okay. They're burial in this building? Well, okay. It means yes, I'm gonna go check it out. 
I know what it means, Brian. But I noticed a change, change in your art attitude. You told me you went to human resources, didn't you? Huh? What were you doing there? Oh yeah, well, I was helping Kate, a partner from Hive. Is she your girlfriend? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, she's not my girlfriend. She's someone I met in the lobby this morning. Today is her first day too, so she's definitely a romantic interest. All right. I know what you're gonna tell me, and no, I haven't told her anything about me being a hunter. I didn't tell anyone, okay? Uh, Sintra family. Where do you say I had to go now? We need to get more information about the Sintra family and identity of the, the other girl in the photo. Go to 8th floor, where the family remains are stored. Why are you in such a hurry to find the witch? I mean, I know it's my main goal, but I don't have to do it all my first day at work, do I? The odds of success are indirectly proportional to how long you work for the company. The longer you take, the harder it is for you to succeed. What do you mean by that? While you're researching for the witch, she's probably doing the same thing about you. If she finds you unprepared... Alright, makes sense. What is this? What is this? And what's that? Okay. The letter I think we all read. Now we can go oh, save. Uh. <laughs> and the face he's making when he take a picture. Alright, let's go to the eighth floor. a flashlight now. We can go a bit further into the forest. Hello. Who 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 could know this thing like this? As a big goblin like to smoke and as much as he like cheese. It's crazy. Uh -huh. Follow a cat. It's a witch that's tape titled Video Club mysterious follow the cat through the wood. Okay, I don't even know how to watch the VHS tape. I have the access to the library player. VHS player, but I can't use the tape on them apparently. Okay. Unless they're just collectible. In which case there seems to be some stuff over here. guy singing, I can't deal with him. So I broke a lamppost, great. <laughs> they, are, they are going to be crazy. Listen to the noise she's making. No, no, it wasn't for playing with the fire or staring at the screen, you're fine. And the goblin saw the witch so many times that he went blind. Ay, ay, ay. It's a rusty broken swing. I wonder what it's doing in a place like this. We're still in the building, right? How, how can they manage to uh, get the whole forest in here? She sounds like Nyan Cat. Okay. Um, man, what's going on? Oh. I think I duck. If I duck in the bushes, um, nobody will be able to see. Okay, so those are the hiding spots. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. Okay. We'll come back here later, alright? Looks like a cemetery. There's a big grassy lock on this gate. I don't know if I can get through without a key. Shit. Yeah, I think I know where the, the witch is. That's not a witch, is it? 
the Sacintra Family Cemetery, 1894 to 1983, in memory of a poor family that became the most important in capital city. May evil never follow you here, and may you rest in peace. Right. Where the hell does fog come from? It smells like burning. Maybe it's smoke? Oh man. Yeah, what the hell? Where did all this fog come from? Or smoke? Lady, stop smoking! Jesus. Goblin secret. Without getting killed. As soon as this bug beside me bugs off. Or I think I can just run for it. Okay, yeah. So there's a chest. Two sheets of witch paper. Nice. Anything over here? You, you, and that uh, you, and I both know the incredible secret behind the smoke. What's happening to your face, sir? This goblin is invis invisible because it uses magic from from the consumer-driven society of a common folk. Okay. push to the left, so run, 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 hide, making over here, run, no, so you have to go up here, are those like bee boxes, oh shit, I thought I was safe for a second. They don't do that much damage. Oh. I can push them. Anything in here? Which paper? Okay, I see what I have to do. Gotta push these beehives or bee boxes or whatever they are into the river. It's gotta be a way to kill these guys. Both active. Okay, why don't you, both of you, come over here? Then I'm gonna leave both of you here and I'll crawl all the way back up. And then maybe I can push the crazy piece, right? Go 
got a phone call. Sorry about that. the past of this madman, I avow a goblin was controlling obsessive and ambitious until no longer before now. What are these? Okay. It's a bonfire, but I don't see anyone around here. What is going on? What side of a slice of cheese? Um If there's a fire, burn witch paper. Um, burn witch paper. What would that do? <coughs> oh. Who's there? I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes. He likes cheese. Oh shit. I'm the one who was blinded. I don't know, I don't wanna mess up. I'm gonna Google. I forgot what the people said. Um hey. from the seeing the witch too many times. I'm the one who's invisible because use magic from the consumer driven society of common folk. Now I'm a madman, but I was controlling obsessive and ambitious. Controlling obsessive and ambitious, that's right. You're the goblin. A creature with two bellies. Uh, so hello, my name is Pasternak. Uh, pass, 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 you know. I'm, I'm uh, sorry, but who are you then? Do you live here? And that hair. You're invisible? And your eyes. Oh my, you don't have eyes. You're, you're. Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> calm down, calm down, karma. Mr. Pastis. <laughs> you asked me a lot of questions like that. You look goofy. You have to take your life with a soup spoonful of sugar. Uh, in the dark time, the human being is a slave to time. Everything's important. Does it run around or catch you? Enjoy a moment, old friend like me. Here, under a tree, my cigar and a nice piece of cheese to while away the afternoon. The paradise of the yum yum. If you say so, then say so. Who are you then? No, well, I think I'm an employee of the mega corporation called Central Pork. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I lost my memory a few months ago when I went completely mad. I don't remember my mother or my name either. But your fellow government official called me the Forest Goblin. Although I'm not a forest. I'm not, and this place isn't a real goblin. <laughs> Person is absolutely bonkers. Okay. And what are you doing here? I mean, what do you do? I do magic with product. Magic? Yeah, with barcode. What? When I removed myself from the office, I took refuge in this long, lonely garden and began to perceive the magic that surrounded the manufacturer object or a consumer, led to society, led society. As the old ain't true scam proverb said, only when you walk away from the light of the big city can you see the star at night. Equally said, oh sorry, I skipped that. The secret of the product were revealed to me. The secret of the products? You have seen their barcode. I don't understand anything you say. 
magnificent. The demonstrate that you are saying what you're saying, Mr. Pastim Kunako. Me? But if you don't have any barcode or some Mr. Packaging of some product you don't need, well, I have an empty cereal box. That, uh, does that work? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, cereal box is super powerful, the most powerful breakfast, well above waffle and croissant. You give the cereal box to the forest goblin. Let me look at the sparkle a little bit. Ugh. Um, I see, the code corresponds to the magic of poisonous gas. That contract you're seeing lying on the stone will allow you to breathe in toxic environment full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me two witch paper as hostages. Ah, that had come. I almost forgot to tell you. I also sell blank witch paper. Alright. I suppose you know them, don't you? I sell them for 10,000 credit each, each, even though I've got them reduced by 50%, so they be one slice of cheese each. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna save out all my cheese for you then. Uh, magic contract. Can you explain the magic contract to me again? Very easy. Pasta Kuneko. What, what, you do, what do you see? What do you see? A box of cooking lying on the floor? You're special, my friend. If you get barcode as special as I do, you turn them into magic contract. If you want to buy one, just go up to it. Whisper your name in binary and spend some witch paper hunting. Okay, I I think what I'm going, I know what's going on. Um, do you know I, about the cemetery back there? It's where the witch lives. What is that true? No, no, noise. Please, this is important. I pushed the gates and I heard a scream and I think I saw something or someone. Would she be the witch? I don't know. Well, make up your mind. Is it true what they say that you saw the witch? I don't want to talk about it. Oops, sorry. I saw the witch eight times. It always happened the same way. First, anxiety. You want to run away and you don't know why. Second, the light go out and you feel the air thicken around you and the weight on your shoulder. Third, the hiss that is thick like a pain in the air. And a kiss. A kiss? Like someone is kissing your cheek. At first, I tried to hide or run like the other. Then I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me. She was torturing me. She always made a camera around me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me crazy and crazier. I got you on my eye the last time she visited me and came to live here. I haven't seen her since then. And you never knew who she was? No, nope. if I knew, I wouldn't forget. I always thought that, I don't know, it could be anyone. Alright, I'm gonna take the contract. So am I immune to poison forever? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a consumable brain ability to breathe in toxic air zone. And do I have cheese? I have four slices of cheese. Hey, dude. Um, exit. That with the, our screwdriver. But before we go, oh, too late. While well, we're in the bathroom, Ugh. don't know if anyone cleaned the building for years. What floor? We just taped Tiny Toad Video Club Mysterio from the drain. Spooky. You think this one? Oh, I. Fine. Oh, this area is literally just the goblin. Yeah, okay. Oh, this one. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Anything that hand dry? I don't like the fact that we can stare into the mirror like that. Just make me think that something's gonna like hop out at us. 
at some point. Nothing interesting. Garbage bin. All right, let's go. What? Wait, what? We're back here. Huh. Interesting. So, do we go talk to Sintra again? Oh, and can I buy? buy cheese here. Maybe we could do it downstairs. Oh hey. Hey Susa, how are you doing? I'm fine, fine, doesn't hurt at all on you. Hugo. Uh you're afraid of Hugo. Sorry I didn't mean to be so blunt. Did he send you to ask me? Is he hiding listening to us? What? No come on, I don't think he does he usually do that kind of things? And much worse, Pasternak. Everybody's afraid of Hugo. He's been with the company for a long time. He's been rising from the lowest floor. He has contract on each floor, contact on each floor, and move freely through the company. Haven't you seen the toad jumping around yet? I haven't seen that. What's with the co costume? Super Toad is his alter ego. Oh, that's no, that's the guy that tried to screw us in the in the library. He's supposed to do some kind of company superhero, be some kind of company superhero, but it's just an excuse to do whatever he likes without giving an explanation. He's very smart, Pasternak. He always covers his back. In public, he's that funny, slightly naughty fellow who playing prank on rookie. But when he disguises himself, he's totally uncontrollable and goes completely unpunished. Beside the mask, behind the mask, and do anything that goes through his head. Believe me, he won't hesitate to pass over or go through whoever is between him and what he wants. But why is that? What does he want? I think he wants to be the next boss of the company. Please, Pasternak, if he finds out I've spoken to you. Take it easy, I don't trust him a bit. I won't tell him anything. Earlier you were telling me something about children of the witch. What are they? They're creatures in her service. You could say they're like her lieutenants. They roam freely through the building. Though as you've been in the company for some time, you get to know which area are the most dangerous. For example, on this very floor, there's a guy you saw in the office, D. At the archive, there's a spider. In the hive, you can already see the girls of the human resources and the dot, dot matrix. Dot matrix? They're the most dangerous. I recommend that you talk to Daoshi on the third floor if you want information about them. But where they all came from? This company has been rotting from within Pasternak. Have you seen all the poisonous air spreading through the building? All the workers who breathe, they get infected and end up transformed by her. But that stench came from somewhere. Has it came from somewhere? From a giant cauldron. She has a very large cauldron and does her experiment there. She immerses the workers she captured in the infected breeding ground and transforms them into her children. Ooh. You know the A4 cemetery? Yeah, who told you about it? Did you go there? Um, yeah, well, I was just walking around and got lost. Nobody goes near the place, Pasternak. Sintra family member are buried there, the founder of the company. That family has always been associated with witchcraft. Some of the company employees claim that she lived in that cemetery. I wouldn't go near that place if I were you. What were the Hugo saying about you guys having a secret club? You want to come in? Registration is open. No, I mean, I don't know. Tell me about it first. Oh, of course. It's called Video Club. Mysterio. Dun dun dun. Do you like the name? Um, sounds interesting, of course. It's a cinema club where we watch horror movies, B series, others' films. And we also make our own short horror film. I'm sure you have seen our tape around. We hidden copy all over the building so that when someone finds them, they'll be. they'll say, oh, what a mystery. Wow, how creative. And you made the short films. And the actors in some of them. And I always help whenever I can. The real artist is Mappy. Who's our director? Mappy? She's a very introverted girl. Oh, that's the girl with the hoodie, right? But she can take all the strange things that surround us and turn it all into art. So what, Pasternak? Join video club mystery? Yeah, I want to watch the thing. Go on, why not? Great, great, great. Then that makes three of us here. <laughs> I made you a temporary ID. You got the video club mystery membership card. Um... Have you seen any other video mystery tape yet? Um, not really. Remember that you can see them in the archive in the 7th floor, audio visual booth. But be careful. 
they're very mysterious tapes. Okay. So, um, let's go watch some of the tapes, and then we can call this part in. Ah. Uh, okay. He's going to. I don't know. That's a six four. No wait. No, let's see where he goes actually. He went to the fourth floor. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna go to the seventh floor. No wait, not in the library. It's in the archive, I think. And I believe I go up the ladder from here. Wait a second. No. It's this one. Oh, there's a shortcut to, to the video club. I forgot. Mysterio. Alright. From the trains. Um, hello? Okay. Thought the game crashed for a second. What? Through the woods. Follow a cat through the woods. Alright, there's a cat. Ooh. She has a piece of paper. That's a rune, right? A Japanese rune to keep the zombie from waking up. Mayonnaise. Okay, I don't. I didn't understand that. Uh, blood trail. Okay. Oof. Okay, I think I'm done. Didn't really understand any of them, but... Okay, we're back in the office. Oh, that's a shortcut from here. Okay, I'm gonna save. No, uh, I wanna save. Not going to the Sintranet. Here. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut this part here, so uh, on the next part we'll keep going and follow the Frog Hugo and see whatever he's up to, alright? Thank you for watching and see you on the next part. Bye.